right? So this room here is called the gunpowder store. Uh -huh. All right? And you can even see the gunpowder store is even more bigger than where they keep the slaves. And there was once a powder machine explosion here in this store. This is why the island, I tell you, it was reconstructed for almost two occasions. And in those days, the island is called the Voyage of No Return. Because in the olden days, just I tell you, the French built a building in the mainland that was built by the French in 1681. Yeah. Because the French are the ones bringing the items like tobacco, spirits, alcohols, and etc. And they used to invite the local kings in the olden days that we have in the mainland. So when these kings come, they start giving them alcohol, getting them drunk on. From there, they can have where they captured our ancestors and they bring them in this island for the slave trade. From there, they can take them to America. And you can even see the gunpowder room is even more bigger than where they keep the slaves. All right? Uh, if you come this way, you're going to see the cistern. What's that got danger for? Yeah, the danger is because of the buildings are very old, more than 700 down, now. Yeah. So it can fall down in a minute. 700 you know? years yeah, now? Yes, yes, yeah, of course. This is why it's important to come with one of the local guys to take you around to show you the place to see, you know? So you can come this way to see the cistern. All right, super. Thank you. All right, so these two rooms are called the cistern. Mm. And basically, cistern means where to have water. Yeah. But in the olden days, when this island get lots of slaves, they never bring no water here anymore. They bring the slaves themselves as well. Just I tell you, they used to capture the whole families. And when they bring these families here, they will separate the families. The father will be put here, and the mother there, the child will be put into another prison. All right? And this is how they used to separate them also into America. And in those days, they pack about 80 of them in each of these rooms. They pack them like sardines of cotton. Mm. This is why most of them cannot take the hydration here. They died in the island. And if you die, they just throw you in the water for the sacks and the crocodiles. That will not stop them from what they are going to do. And if you follow me that way, you're going to see the underground prison as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. You get everything what he's saying. Yeah, 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 I am. All right, so we are going to the prison. Yeah, we're going uh, to the underground prison, prison now. Yeah, that's the underground prison. Hmm. Prison. Yeah, so this place here, this place is called the underground prison. And this underground prison, in those days, this is where they brought most of the aggressive slaves. Because there used to be some certain slaves that you know that they fight against with the slave masters. Mm. They never like to be a slave. Yeah. And for these people, when the masters capture them, they bring about 60 of them in these rooms here. And for these 60 people, when they put them in this small room here, when it's time for them to have food, not all of them will have. They pass only one plate of food through the window here. They call it the survival of the fittest. Yeah. If you can't able to have the plate, you eat. If you can't, you remain like that. But if you cry, I will stop. She's emotional. Yeah, I know. But you have to come down first, please. Yeah? Mm. Please, yeah? yeah? Calm down, yeah? Calm please. down, yeah. Yeah, explain. No one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. It's just okay. No, no. All right, so this underground prison in those days, for the 60 people, when it's time for them to have food, they pass only one plate of food through the window here, and it is called the survival of the fittest. fittest yeah. All right, if you have the plate to eat, if you can't, you remain like that. If you die, they just throw you in the water for the sacks and the crocodiles. And this is where they kept Kunta Kinte for 14 days, because Kunta Kinte was born in the year 1750 in Jufre. And he was captured in 1767, mm. when he was 17 years boy. Yeah. And they brought him here 14 days, because Kunta Kinte was a very aggressive slave. He never liked to go to America to be a slave. But you know, one cannot fight with a dozen. And they brought him here for 14 days. From here, Kunta Kinte was taken to an island called Gore Island. Mm. Because the English and the French make a big fight in this island here. But still the English won the French. This is why the French migrated to Senegal. Senegal belonged to French colony and Gambia belonged to English colony. Oh, yeah. So from here, Kunta Kinte was taken to Senegal in a place called Gore Island. From Gore Island, he was taken to America in a place called Maryland. That's why they sold him in the plantation. So when Kunta Kinte was in Maryland, 
he was a gardener and he decided to escape to come back to Africa, but they captured him and warned him not to run. But still he wanted to make for his freedom. The third time, that's the time they captured him and they cut one of his foot off and he became a valuable slave. And that's what the time the treaty was signed in the plantation that slaves can marry to each other and they want to change their African names to European names. Because Kunta Kinte's name was about to change to Toby, but he said, no, my name is Kunta Kinte from the Kambi Balong. Kambi means Gambia, Balong means a river, that's a Mandinka language. Mm -hmm. And that's time they asked Kunta Kinte to get married with a slave lady called Fanta. Fanta was an African, but they changed Fanta's name to Bell. So Kunta Kinte with Bell, they have one daughter called Kisi. Kisi was the only daughter of Kunta Kinte. And Kisi also was sent to another plantation master called Tomli. And Tomli raped Kisi, they have a boy called George. That was the famous he chicken judge because he was good in cockfighting. And that's how their family keep on going. You have Cynthia Butler up to Simon Haley, mm -hmm. which was the father of Alex Haley. And Alex Haley is the man who comes from America to trace where the original of Kunta Kinte come from. He read the book Roots and distributed it all over the world. About 85% of the movie is all made here. It's only 15% that is made in America just to make the movie more interesting. Right? Mm. That's, thank you. That's so great. Yeah. So this is by built by a stone or they This was built by the slaves themselves. They forced them to build this and they used to go to a place called Dock Island. So That's this where... how they build it? They use they undermine it or whatever? To undermine no. They build it with stones. With stones, yeah. These are stones. Uh, these yeah. are all stones. Yeah. And the stuff you've seen, these are oysters. Uh, <coughs> Oyster powder. Powder, okay, yeah. they use that. Yeah. Then there was no cement. Exactly. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Right. You're welcome. Yeah. Help it. No. We are going out from the underground prison, going to another level. Sure, you okay? Can I have a cigarette, please? No, no, no. Cigarette is, uh,